Today, I'm tackling a question that I've been asking myself a lot. Are Apple products really worth the hype? As someone who's been using Apple products for six years now, iPhones, Apple Watch, AirPods, Apple TV, MacBook, and iPad, I've got some first-hand insights to share. But here's the thing. I'm currently in a bit of a dilemma. I'm seriously considering switching my iPhone 15 to either Google Pixel 9 Pro or the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 flagship. Will it be difficult for me to make the switch? If you're in the same boat, let's find out together whether Apple products are truly worth the investment or if making a change is really worth it. One of the things I absolutely love about Apple is the ecosystem. If you're like me and have multiple Apple products, you know how seamlessly they work together. For example, I can start editing video on my iPhone and seamlessly pick it up from where I left on my MacBook. And don't even get me started on how convenient AirDrop is. I can instantly share files between my iPhones, iPads or MacBooks without a hitch. All my health data are recorded on Apple Watch and it easily gets synced on my iPhone too. But here's the thing, this seamlessness experience can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it makes life so much easier and on the other, once you're in it, it's hard to leave. I found myself buried deep comfortably in the Apple ecosystem that switching to another brand feels like it would be a major hassle. This is why I'm a little hesitant about replacing my iPhone 15 with another Android flagship. Would I miss out on all the integration and convenience? For me, the convenience usually outweighs the cost, but this is something I'm really weighing as I consider a switch. Next up, let's talk about the design and build quality. Apple products have always been known for their sleek, minimalist design, and that's one of the reasons why I keep coming back. My iPhone 15 Pro feels premium in hand, and my MacBook Pro is a work of art. Seriously, the attention to detail is incredible. I also don't get the part where Apple releases one phone after the other every year, and yet all the phones look so alike. I mean, you wouldn't be able to identify if you are looking at an iPhone 13, iPhone 14, iPhone 15, and now the upcoming iPhone 16 as well. So that's a bummer with Apple products. I've recently noticed my phone is getting a lot of these marks. I have never faced this with my older models, but with the iPhone 15 series, both the base iPhone 15 and the Pro gets easily scratched on the screen and as well as the camera lens. I don't usually throw my phone in a bag that has keys or other sharp items, so not sure how this happened, but yeah, not at all happy with that. I've dropped the iPhone 15 and the 15 Pro more times than I would like to admit and still going strong in terms of build. The durability of these products is something I've personally experienced and it's a big reason why I think the price tag is justified. However, I'm curious if other flagship devices can offer the same level of design and durability. I really like the Pixel 9 Pro and the Galaxy phone designs, but I'm not sure about the durability, so let me know Android users. When it comes to performance, Apple rarely disappoints. My MacBook Pro with M3 Pro Max chip is an absolute beast. I use it for video editing with heavy workload and rendering, multitasking and media streaming, and yet it handles everything without breaking a sweat. But this performance from a laptop was the highest from a MacBook until 2024. With the introduction of Microsoft's Windows Copilot plus PC laptops, everything's changed. With the new Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus ARM processor, we have a tough competitor. Snapdragon still doesn't have a chip that can compete with the M3 or upcoming M4 Max chips, but they're expected to be out soon. Okay, at least with MacBooks, I don't see a direct replacement outside Apple with the power, portability, and ecosystem. When it comes to phones, it's slightly a different story with respect to performance. Honestly, the performance is more than what I will ever need. But that's the thing with Apple, they are always pushing the envelope. If you're someone who needs the best of the best, Apple delivers it. iPhone tends to offer better CPU performance, whereas Samsung tends to provide better GPU performance. So if you're going to play a lot of 3D games, go with the Samsung. And if you want to switch between a wide range of applications quickly, then iPhone might be a better choice. But if you're just checking emails and browsing the web, you might find that you are paying for more power than you will ever use with Apple products. But Samsung has a wide range of cheaper phones which will better suit for those needs. This makes me wonder, would a Google Pixel or a Samsung flagship be more than enough for my daily needs? 
they've been making significant strides in performance too so maybe i wouldn't miss out as much as i think now let's talk about the price apple products are undeniably expensive but so are other flagship phone nowadays I have been comparing the prices of iPhone and other flagships say Galaxy phones they have been priced pretty much similar I don't see a big difference but after using the iPhone for years I can say that for me the value is there these devices last for years and they also hold their resale value incredibly well I've sold my old iPhones and Macs and I've been surprised by how much I could get back and I think this is a big plus for Apple finally let's talk about the brand itself Apple is more than just a tech company. It's a lifestyle brand. I've noticed that when people see the Apple logo, there is a certain perception that comes with it. For better or worse, Apple products are associated with quality amongst the public. Do I buy Apple products for the brand? Not really. I'm more interested in the performance and the ecosystem, but I'd be lying if I said that the brand didn't play a part in why I keep coming back to Apple. Apple has a way of making you feel like you're part of something special and that's a big part of the hype. But at the end of the day, it's the functionality and the reliability that keeps me hooked. I'm used to a certain level of consistency with my MacBook and iPhones. iPhones also have their own problems and I've made a video specifically on those issues. But beyond that, my iPhone is still a very reliable hardware that I've ever used. So, are Apple products worth the hype? For me, the answer is yes. The seamless ecosystem, premium design and the top-notch performance make it worth the investment. But it really depends on what you're looking for. Do you really get the flexibility and customization that we are used to outside of the Apple? If you're all about getting most value out of your money, then there are cheaper alternatives out there. And as someone who is seriously considering switching to a Google Pixel or Samsung Galaxy, I'm finding it harder than I thought to make that decision. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Are Apple products worth the hype for you? And if you've already made the switch from iPhone to Android, I would love to hear your experience. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech insights. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.